In this video, I will show you how to fix if Roblox Studio is not opening. So let's jump straight into it. So if you are trying to open up Roblox Studio and it's just simply freezing, it's not opening, as you can see like mine's doing here, then follow along with me as we fix this problem. So to go ahead and fix this, as you can see we're here on my desktop, the first thing you're gonna to want to do is come down to the bottom left hand corner and in your search box, you wanna go ahead and type run and open up the run app underneath best match. Now into this box, you want to put app data and then press enter. And what that's gonna do is open up a folder like this. Now from here, you wanna double click to go into the local folder. And what you want to do in here is look for the Roblox folder. So it is in alphabetical order. So if you come down to R, as you can see the Roblox folder for me is just here. Double click to go into the Roblox folder. Then what you need to do is double click onto the versions folder. Now in here, you want to find the latest version of Roblox. You're gonna have multiple like myself. So you just want to locate the latest version of Roblox. So for myself, that's gonna be the one at the top. So I'm just gonna double click to go into the folder. And then from here, what you want to do is scroll all the way down towards the bottom and you're going to see the Roblox Studio Launcher Beta. So what you want to do is left click onto the Roblox Studio Launcher Beta to select it. Then you want to right click to bring up this menu and click onto Run as Administrator. Once you've accepted the permission that comes up, you're just want, going to want to give it a minute or two to reinstall the latest version on your PC. So it's just going to take a minute or two to run through. And once that's finished installing, you should now be able to use Roblox Studio. It should load up for you absolutely fine, no problem problem at all as you can see in my case here. So that is how to fix Roblox Studio not opening. With that being said I hope this tutorial did help you out today and if this did help you out I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and I will see you in the next video.